You know I've been taking some time and I've been keeping to myself I had my eyes upon the prize, ain't watching anybody else You know I used to be in one deep, I'm a free People want me for one thing, that's not me I'm not changing the way that I used to be I just wanna have fun and get around Hello Vision and Beauties, welcome to my channel I am so glad you stopped by for this product review on these Becca Cosmetics That was sent to me by Becca I received two primers one is Velvet Blurring Primer Perfecting Base in Apricot Haze. The other is Backlight Priming Filter. And I also received this blush, and it's their Shimmering Skin Perfector Luminous Blush, Snapdragon is the color and i also received this shimmering skin perfecting base opal a uh, pressed powder in opal this is my highlighter so i'm going to go ahead and show you the products and talk a little bit about them i'm going to first start off by comparing the two primers now i felt like the velvet blurring primer was a little too drying for my skin it dries like a matte finish so anybody who's looking for like a matte primer this would be perfect it dries really matte and if you're really oily this would be perfect for you me i preferred this one which is a backlight primer filter it's more on the luminous side like a dewy primer i'll show you what that is it's, it has a little bit of shimmer in it and look how much i get with one pump but as you can see it's more of a nice soft dewy primer now you well, obviously you would blend that in and you pretty much just need one pump so you just blend that in it's very velvety so it's very soft now this one is the velvet blurring powder this one is a little bit more watery let me just put both of them side by side so you guys can see the difference this one is the per, um, velvet blurring primer and apricot haze as you can see it's more watery and it's a matte finish whereas the backlight priming filter is more of a shimmer and it's more of a thicker consistency the apricot haze does go on velvety smooth but like I said it's too little too drying for me for right now maybe more so towards the uh, summertime it'd be better for me because I sweat a lot so that's how these work the uh, velvet blur is probably my summer primer because I get oily more so in the summertime than I do in the winter the winter months tend to be drying on my skin so I would definitely use this one which is the backlight priming filter this is the bottle it comes in and it's their signature saucer packaging. And this is glass. So keep that in mind when traveling with this product. Whereas this one is a plastic. So these are the two side by side. Now we're gonna go on into the highlighter. So this is the highlighter with their classic looking saucer. Now we'll say I do like this highlight. I do have it on my cheek right now. So I have it just right here. So it's a very nice glow. It's gonna be an everyday highlighter. You do get a mirror up here. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that. So it was a very nice highlighter. It kind of gives off like maybe like a rose, like almost like a rose gold. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the blush. So with the blush, you also get a mirror and then you get the little paper that comes in there, the protector. So this is what the blush looks like. And this is Snapdragon, it's a color. I'm gonna head and swatch that. It's a very light, sheer look. So I also have that on my cheek as well. So that is right about here. And then you have the highlighter here and the Dragon Snap hair, which I think they both go perfect together. I absolutely love it. And I also put a little bit of the highlight along the bridge of my nose, but I'll put a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this a little bit on my nose so you can see it in action right there. And a little bit along the bridge, like so. You wanna put it on a little cupid's bow. And I have some along my cheeks. And absolutely love this highlighter. 
I love it. Um, as far as my specs and my how I feel about the products, one of the problems was too much of a matte for me, at least for the winter time. It will be probably like my, my summer um, primer. As far as the other products, I absolutely love them. I love the blush, the highlighter, and the other primer was perfect for this look. I've created this whole look using these products. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think about Becca, or if you try these products, let me know what you think about them. Please don't forget to share this video because that's how I'm able to keep making these videos just for you guys. That concludes my review for these products. I will leave all the information in the description box below, so please don't forget to check the description box for all the products and information. And I also wanna say a huge thank you to Becca Cosmetics for sending me out these products for review. Don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share and stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty. Till next time, bye.